Sergeant so Kenai here reporting for duty, and today I'm going to be going over the basics of a new game that's going to be coming out in the, sometime in the future called Rend. Uh, it's currently in pre-alpha, and if you've never played a game like this, it's a game where you go through and your skills level up and uh, you're part of a fraction, and as you get better in certain skills, if you start focusing on honing on certain skills, you get better and better, but you can only be so good at so many things. So. Uh, starting off in the very beginning of Rend, you pick a fraction. Um, I'm currently playing as the Revenant fraction, and whether you're playing the Revenant, Conclave, or Order, all beginning things are going to be the same for starting off. And starting off, you're going to be working on your woodcutting, because you start off with no supplies, no anything but your bare fists, and, you know, the people that you have around you. Um, so, especially at the very beginning of server, um, your clan mates or your fraction mates are not going to be able to just start handing you over or handing over tools because nobody really has tools and it's going to be up to you to go out there and start crafting the very beginning supplies of the weapon. So first things first, you're always going to want to come and run out here to the, the nearest pine tree, specifically these trees because those trees currently right now do not supply any type of wood. Maybe they will in later versions of the game, but as of right now, they uh, do not do anything. So you got to punch the tree a couple times, you know, just a uh, classic old you know, fist to the tree until, you know, basically branches are falling off of the trees and you're collecting sticks. Uh, next thing is next is you need to find a small patch of where you can possibly get some flint or stone. Now, flint and stone is always located around the beginning areas of the game. There's always going to be little rocks around. Um, I believe there's like a patch somewhere over here or in this general vicinity. So here we are at the uh, larger hilltop structure we've came across that we assumed would be some flint lying around. We got some flint over here. Um, oftentimes there's going to be uh, cobblestone as well. It's going to be in pretty much against the mountains at almost all times. Or just an area where there's a lot of rocks around. You're going to find you know, even more flint lying around on the ground. So now that we have two flint and enough, uh, enough sticks in our inventory, we're going to go ahead and open our crafting menu up with C. And this is all of our personal crafting items that we can make right now. Uh, you know, these are the only things that we can make because our skills are all at zero. If we want to go ahead and take a look at our skills, um, everything's at zero. Uh, we have pretty much the only small amounts of experience gained in these two items by hitting trees and picking up some, some flint off of the ground. Um, but we're going to go ahead and uh, do the uh, stone axe crafting, the very first item that you want to come, uh, you know, that you're going to make because it's going to give you all your sticks, all your logs, and all your other things, my bobs. Um, you can also go ahead and create a uh, a stone pickaxe once you have rose or risen your um, your crafting high or your, not your lumbering high enough. You can start crafting some stone picks and you know start hammering away on the rocks. But that goes into mining, which will be in a separate video and all themselves. So you know, obviously, first things first, you got to go ahead. You know, you have your axe. It's time to start going through and chopping down trees and uh, raising raising your lumber skill. And to start, finally start getting the basics of wood cutting. As you level up more and more, you're going to start unlocking other recipes and allowing to build other things like I mentioned before. Uh, the big thing being uh, the stone pickaxe, which I'm sure once we hit, uh, I believe it's lumber 2, is when we're going to be able to start making the pickaxe and start working on instead of, uh, instead of working on uh, woodworking, we can work on mining instead. That's when we can start branching off of doing other things in the game. Without having to solely focus on, you know, being the uh, the lumbering man, the, the sole woodcutter of your fraction. Now, the reason why, you know, woodcutting and mining is so important is not only is it, is it the basic resource gathering for your fraction to making items for not only yourself but possible fraction mates, is that certain items later in the game can only be made by someone who is a very, very, very strong gatherer or a survivalist, um in the game that is purely focused on resource gathering because there's certain logs and certain things that can only be acquired that's very very rare in the very late stages of getting you know wood cutting and things like that so uh we've also leveled up right now but we'll go into that into a separate video all leveled up so basically if you want to you know specialize your character like survivalist being the gatherers soldiers for fighting assassins for like quick damage dealing mystics for uh, using spells and things of the like but we also have unlocked some new recipes over here, so we're going to go ahead and open those up. Uh, personalized crafting. As you see, stone axe, we got wood bolts in here, we got a couple cured leather and th stone thrones. Um, I believe that the actual pickaxe requires you to pick up enough rocks to actually appear in your inventory. But uh, from this point forward, 
to move across the woodcutting is obviously cutting down more trees until you eventually reach the point which I believe is level 6 lumbering. Um, and you unlock the wood boards which allow you to make the tinkering table which may or may not have the recipe unlocked yet. No, I don't have the recipe for the tinkering table unlocked. However, add something, you know, we can always go into our own unlocks and figure out what we need exactly for all of the, you know, personal stash, mystic buildings, wood torches, you know, all through the things, wood boards leading to get level 6. So once you have that, you can make the tinkering table, which is going to allow much more crafting available into the game. But that's getting into more advanced parts of the game. We're going to go ahead and end the video here for today. And so if you need any, uh, you know, help this video uh, help you guys out, because I know that for me, at least coming into a game like this that I haven't played in a very long time, it was very overwhelming at first. I had no idea what to do, but after figuring out, it's actually uh, it's quite nice. But I'll see you guys next time in the next video. I'm Sergio Kenai, and I'm signing out.